Okay, so let us now begin. Let's have a quick recap on how we prepare the budget. So the master budget can be divided into two major budgets. We have the operating budget and the financing budget. So the master budget, meron tayong operating budget, meron tayong financing budget. Now, we will begin the preparation of the overall master budget with the preparation of the sales budget. Preparation of the sales budget. Tama? So that would be our starting point. It is important that we know the demand. We know the demand for our products and services before we would prepare a production schedule. So start with the sales budget. Then from the sales budget, we will budget how many to produce. When we prepare the production budget, we may now prepare as well the material purchases, labor, and manufacturing overhead budget. Material purchase, labor, and manufacturing overhead budget. Now, when you have the cost per unit of production, you may multiply the unit cost by the number of units to be sold. Okay? So, budgeted sales units times the units per uh, unit, unit cost per product, you will have the cost of goods sold. Now, independently, you may also uh, independent of production, you may also prepare the budgeted selling general admin expenses. Sales minus cost of goods sold is CR, gross profit budget, minus selling general and admin expenses. It will give you your earnings before interest and taxes or operating income. You may now prepare a lot of components in the budgeted income statement. Okay? So budgeted income statement, medyo magagawa na natin. Meanwhile, if we are concerned about when cash flow will materialize, cash inflow, cash outflow, we refer to the financing budget. We have here the cash receipts or collection budget, which will uh, come from your sales. Your cash disbursement budget which will come from your production costs your selling general admin expenses when will they be paid okay if the income statement uh, answers when it is incurred the financing budget will answer when it will be disbursed kailan mababayaran if we budget for long-term machinery and equipment we need a capital budget that's also an outflow of cash. Cash receipts, cash disbursements, and the capital budget. If we will summarize them collectively, we call this the cash budget. Summarize them together, we would be able to arrive at the cash budget. Now, my cash tayo, AR, the timing difference here. AP, the timing difference here. Inventory, we may now prepare a budgeted balance sheet. By the way, it's a cash budget. Uh, it will be visible whether you have to borrow, you have to invest excess cash, you have to borrow because of deficiency. So, possibly my interest income, interest expense, which will go to your budgeted income statement. Anyway, then when you have an income statement and a balance sheet, you may now prepare the budgeted statement of cash flows. Okay? So, tuli tuli lang tayo sa pagpa practice. So let's go here to Parley Companies. So this time, it's about sales going to cash receipts. Timing difference between sales and cash receipts. Parley Company sales are 30% in cash, 70% on credit, 60% of the credit sales are collected in the month of sale, 25% in the month following sale, 12% in the second month following sale, remainder uncollectible. The following are budgeted sales data. Total cash receipts in April would be budgeted 
to be blank. I will give you three minutes. Try to explore this. Huh? I will give you three minutes. Go. Okay, you have 30 seconds more. Finalize your answers. You have 30 seconds more. So, yeah, again. So, please type your answers. Please type your answers. Enter. Wala pa? Ah, sige, extend ako, ha? I'll give you one more minute. Okay, one more minute. Sige lang. Okay, ha? Sige, extend ko, ha? Sige, kay two more minutes. Please give me a good answer, ha?
Okay, everyone, please show your answers. Finisher and finish. Okay, ayan, iba-iba yung sagot nila. Okay, iba-iba yung sagot. Oh, tatlo lang. Oh, where's the rest? Where's the rest? Okay, sige ah. Cash receipts in April. So you have here the February, March, and April sales. We will not need January for this problem. 30% of the sales are made in the form of cash. So for April sales, 30% of 30,000, that would be collected now. Okay, anyway. So the sales revenue are for February, March, and April, 70K, 50K, and 30K respectively. Now, if 30% of the sales are in cash, so 30% of 30K, it will be sold in cash. So in the same month, it will also be collected. 70% on credit, meaning hindi muna magbabayad yung customer, mangungutang muna si customers. So credit sales is 70%. Of the 70% sales in credit, 60% are collected in the month of sale. 30,000 times 70% is 21,000. 60% of 21,000, it will be collected in the same month, April. That mm -hmm. would be 12,600. 30K times 70% times 60%. 12,600. 12,600. Then in the month following sale, the amount to be collected on April will be coming from March. 50,000 times 70%. 60% will be collected in March. Yung 25%, yun yung makokolek sa April. 8, 7, 50. Okay? So I repeat, 50,000 times 70% times 60%, it will be collected in March. Pero yung 25% the following month, April yon, 8, 7, 50. And then 12% in the month following sale. So yung interest natin dito, yung galing kay February. 70,000 times 70% is 49K. 12% of that will be collected in April. When you add up all of these items, you would have the following, 36,230. So you are budgeted, sorry, mali yung labeling. This is supposed to be budgeted cash collection. Your budgeted cash collection is 36,230. Okay? So very good, marami naman yung tumama. Again, this is supposed to be budgeted cash collection. Okay, that would be case 9. Case 10 is similar. However, it's actually easier. Mas madali yung case 10. I will give you only 2 minutes for this one. Go.
Okay? 30 seconds more. 30 seconds more. This is easier, ha? Huh? This is easier. So we have here the PDQ company makes collections and credit sales according to the following schedule. So all of the sales here are on credit. No need to think about cash sales. 25% in the month of sale. 70% month following sale. 4% in the second month following sale. And forget about the 1% as it will not be collectible. The following sales have been budgeted. You have for April, May, and June. The question is the cash collections for June. Enter your answers now. Okay. Very good. Very good. So April, May, and June, it's 100K, 120K, and 110K respectively. Tama? So in June... 25% of these sales will be collected in the same month, month of sale. 25% of 110K, 27,500. For May, 25% uh, will be collected in this same month, May to May. But there will be May sales that would be collectible only in June. 70% in the month following sale. So 120,000 times 70%, that's 84,000 pesos, dollars. Then finally, you have your April sales. Your April sales, uh, it will be collected 25% April, 70% May. 4% will be collected on June, so that's 4,000. Forget about the 1%, they are not collectible anymore. 115,500. Okay, I apologize for the wrong labeling here. This is supposed to be budgeted cash receipts or budgeted cash collections, 115,500. 115,500. That's the correct answer. Okay? So basically, uh, our discussion has been spread out to many different items. No? Income statement, cash receipts, cash collections. Capital budgeting will be discussed in a separate topic. Uh, you have here the cash budget. So, isasummarize lang natin sa cash budget yung mga receipts, disbursements. Kung bibili tayo ng machine, capital budget yon. that will be an another outflow of cash. Kung may kulang, if there's a deficiency, we have to borrow. If there's excess, we may invest in marketable securities. Okay? Sige. Anyway, let's continue. I will uh, give you this one, ABC Company. I will give you two minutes for this one. ABC Company has a cash balance of 9,000 pesos in April. The company must maintain a minimum cash balance of 6,000 pesos. During April, expected cash receipts are 45,000 pesos. Expected cash disbursements during the month total 52,000. During April, the company will need to borrow how much? Go.
Okay. All answers in? Madali lang to, no? So, how much does the company need to borrow? April, the receipts is 45,000 pesos. Disbursements, that's an outflow of 52,000 pesos. So, the net effect will be minus 7,000. Tama? The net effect will be minus 7,000 pesos. May cash balance pa naman na 9. Negative 7 plus 9. So, this is the beginning balance, no? The ending balance, if you're not going to borrow anything, will be 2,000 pesos. But we must maintain the minimum cash balance, uh, 6,000. We should maintain at least 6,000. So, 2,000. So, para maging 6,000, kailangan yung dumagdag ng 4,000. The amount that we need to borrow is indeed 4,000 pesos. Very good. A lot of you were able to answer it correctly. Okay? 4,000 pesos. Okay ba tayo? Oh, sige. I hope everything is good. So, we will go to the next problem. Now, here in the next problem, uh, pesos to ha. Hindi ko na bago. This is supposed to be pesos. Uh, this is very similar with the previous problem. I'll give you two minutes again. I'll give you another two minutes. So, assume everything is in pesos. I haven't edited it well. Okay, again, two minutes. Go. Okay, all answers in now. Enter. Okay, cash deficiency tama. 11,000. So for the month of October, TL Inc. is working on its cash budget. The budgeted beginning cash balance is 35K. Cash receipts, 166K. Again, this is in pesos. Cash disbursements, 162K pesos. And we desire an ending balance of 50,000 pesos. Okay, excess or deficiency of cash available over the disbursements. 
So the cash receipts is 166k. Disbursements 162k. So that's 4,000. Now the cash beginning April is 35. Ang mahuhuha nyo lang dito 39,000. Again, the desired ending cash balance is 50k. Para maging 50k ito, kailangan nyo dagdagan ng 11,000. So there's a deficiency. There's a deficiency of 11,000 pesos. So the correct answer is deficiency of 11,000 pesos. Yeah, you may answer negative 11k. Yeah, you may answer negative 11 deficiency. Anyway, I'm going to put it. Yeah, you can put it in a parenthesis. I will be clear when it comes to the actual examination. So actual examination, I'll be clear about that. Okay, so we will have a finale. We will have a finale. So before we end our discussion here, uh, do you have any questions on this uh, way of preparing the master budget? So far, we are able to explain sales to production, production to any of these three, cost of goods sold, SGA, okay. Itong mga financing budget, wala na? Okay, malalaman naman natin kung may kulang pa, no? So if there is a defeat, there is a portion here where, which you cannot understand yet, we can easily know it by answering this one. So for our fin finale, there are three requirements. Tatlo yung requirements dito. Total budgeted income. I'm talking about operating income for February and March. Budgeted inventory at March 31. That's the end of March. Both in units and in dollars. Budgeted purchases for March also in units and in dollars. Okay. So I will give you four minutes for this one. There are three requirements. So I'll give you a total of four minutes. Go.
Okay. So, para organize yung makikita ko, ha? Uh, you are going to put the answers in one line, no? So, I will expect five answers. No? Lima, ha? There are five answers. So, put them in one line. You may start typing now. And in a count of five, press enter. Okay? So, there are five answers. Uh, isa sa A, tig dalawa sa boy, siya sa C. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay tayo? A letter A. Compute the total budgeted income for February and March. What's your answer? Sabay-sabay uh, na, ha? Okay. Yeah, isabay-sabay niya na yung mga sagot niya. Okay lang, okay lang. No? So, 4, 3, 4, 000 daw. What about the rest? Two hundred thousand. Okay. So let's do it together. Ironwood sells a single product for ten dollars. The purchase cost is four dollars per unit. Ironwood pays a twenty percent sales commission. Fixed costs are 45000 per month, including 12000 depreciation. The company maintains inventory equal to the budgeted sales needs of the following month. So for February and March, we are going to calculate the sales. $10 times 24K. Yun yung sales ng February. Budgeted at 24,000 units. 10 times 24,000 is 240,000. Then for March, $10 times 26 is to 60000 So what about the cost of goods sold? So alam naman natin, no? after the sales, we should deduct the cost of sales. $4 yung cost per unit. 4 times 24K, your cost of goods sold is 96K. 4 times 26K, 104K. So... Sales minus cost of sales will give you your gross profit, one forty-four thousand and one fifty-six thousand respectively. Selling general and admin expenses, meron tayong commissions twenty percent, so that would be a general a selling general admin expense, twenty percent of the sales that's the commission, two forty k times twenty percent is forty-eight thousand. 260K times 20% is 52,000. Meron pa ba? Fixed cost. The fixed cost is 45,000. Fixed expenses of 45K. And this is an income statement. Hindi naman cash flow ang hinahanap. So do not remove the depreciation. The depreciation should be part of the amount to be deducted here. Huwag yung tanggalin yung depreciation kasi expenses naman to. Na? So 144 minus 48 minus 45, that's 51,000. 156 minus 52 minus 45, that's 59,000. So the operating income is as follows. Na? Sales minus cost of sales, your gross profit. Minus selling general and admin expenses, there are two here. A variable commissions depending on the sales and a fixed cost which is given to be 45K. Okay? Kung may depreciation, hayaan nyo lang, no? Kasi expenses naman to ng income statement. Hindi naman cash basis yung pinag-uusapan natin. We're not talking about the cash disbursements. What we're talking here about is the expense, not the cash disbursements. Okay? So, do you have any questions? So, the final answer should be 110,000. Okay? The final answer. Ay, nangyari. Hindi ko na bago. Wait lang, ha? Okay, hindi ko na bago ata. So I repeat, the final answer is 51 plus 59, that's 110,000. Okay, going back. So the correct answer again is 110,000 pesos. Okay. Yun yung ating budgeted Income, budgeted operating income. Ayan na, 110,000. 
So budgeted income for February and March. It's 51K for February, 59K for March, 110,000. Okay? Now the next question. I think this one is an easy one. Find the budgeted inventory at March 31, both in units and in dollars. Everyone, please show your answers. Kung wala kayong answer kanina, ngayon sana baka meron kayong answer. Find the budgeted inventory at March 31. That is, how much inventory should be kept at the end of March, no? At the end of March. Enter. Again, this is an easy one. Please do not overthink. This is a very easy one. Please do not overthink. Okay, wala talaga. So, you have here a clue. The company maintains inventory equal to the budgeted sales needs for the following month. So, if everything is going according to plan, the budgeted sales for March is 26K. So, by the end of February, we should keep 26K. The company maintains, oh, yan yung clue, ha? The company maintains an inventory equal to the budgeted sales needs for the following month. Yun yung sinabi sa atin dito. No? Okay. So, by March, we should maintain the sales for April. End of March, we should maintain 25,000 because that is next month's sales. The answer is 25,000 units. Each inventory costs four dollars, so in dollars terms, it is one hundred thousand, twenty-five thousand units, and one hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so that is your answer for letter B: fifty thousand units, hundred thousand dollars. Letter C. Misa got kayo sa letter C. Uh, no worries, no? This, record, uh, this meeting is recorded. So you can view this if you're having problems with your internet. Uh, letter C. Letter C, anong sagot nyo? Okay, akala nyo madali kanina, no? Kasi yung binibigay kong these uh, questions, straight to the point, no? And then inuulit ko. Okay, thank you, Glenn, for answering. So according to Glenn, it's 22K and 880K. So, tingnan natin, ha? How about the rest? So, March and April, what's the sales? The sales for March is 26K. April, 25K. Now, as I have told you, in creating the production budget, we add the ending finished goods and the dock the beginning finished goods. Now, we are looking for the budgeted purchases. Why are we looking directly at the, looking for directly at the budgeted purchases? The reason is, this is not a manufacturing company. Walang production dito. This is a merchandising company. Buy and sell lang siya. Walang production. So, from the sales, derecho tayo sa purchases. Because there's nothing to produce. We will just buy them. So, we want to maintain an ending inventory equivalent to next month's sales. So the ending finished goods are merchandise, no? Merchandise kasi to. The ending merchandise inventory is 25,000, 100% of the sales of the following month. Yun yung requirement. And then by February, dapat na maintain yung 26k ni March. By March, ma maintain yung para kay April 25k. So beginning inventory of March should also be 26k. 26 plus 25 minus 26K, our budgeted production purchase units. It's a merchandise stock. The budgeted purchase units is also 25,000 units. It costs $4 each. So the answer is also 25,000 and 100,000 respectively. Okay? 25,000, nagkataon, yun din yung sagot. Okay? So that is the correct answer so do you have any questions so far do you have any questions so far
ending and beginning. Yung ending inventory, yung naka-underline naka, naka na kulay red. Yung naka-underline na kulay red, basahin mo ulit. The company maintains inventory equal to the budgeted sales needs for the following month. So what are we going to purchase for March? Yung sales for March, kailangan natin yon. And then, add the ending inventory of March. It should be 100% of next month sales, 25K. And then, by February, end ng February, na-prepare na rin natin yung 26K. So the beginning inventory is 26K for March. Okay? So 26 plus 25 minus 26. The budgeted purchase units is 25,000. Okay? Any other questions? Any other questions? Okay, then I will stop recording. I will stop recording.